All right, we're live again for the video. I promised I would uh, lean into creating a new character and taking it from level one to level 100, basically in less than five minutes. The video will be longer than five minutes because I've got loads of explaining to do. There are basically two ways to go about this. Uh, to start off with, create a new character. I've done so, I just chose the mage. As you can see, he's a level three because I ran the uh, tutorial, you can say, where you go to the stash point and talk to the uh, innkeeper or the housekeeper or shopkeeper. And that's basically all you need to do there. When you've completed this, you don't have to, you can do a fresh level one. But when you've done this, you should have a save then in your file cabinet folder. And I'll show you how it looks like. It should look something like this. This was your original character, in my case, the Acolyte Lich, level 111, and I made a um, mage as well. And there are two ways to go about this, the easy way and the also slightly easy way, but one requires more editing than the other. The first way to go about this, this step you're going to need, unless you know someone who's got a character already, who can supply you the uh, slot number codes for the skills, um, but I'll get back to that. So again, what we need to do now as a first step is to open the file for edit. Like so, and you can use Notepad, you can use whatever you choose, please. It all depends on your means and your skill level. I just like to work within Visual Studio, so that's what we're going to do. This here is a string for a fresh level three character. Nothing interesting here. But what we need to do as a first thing is to edit the level of the character to unlock all skill levels. In order to do this, we're going to take this character directly to level 49. Why 49? Because within the boundaries of these skill levels, you've got slot number zero, one, two, three, four. They are hinging or conditioned dependent on your character level. And at level 49, you would have unlocked all five skills. That is why we're going with level 49. And we end the game, as you can see here. We've got the level threes, but upon changing into the character sheet to level 49, you, of course, will get a level 49 character like so. And voila, by some magic editing, Raceland is now level 49 and it's a mage. And this was due to our edit in the character sheet, the data file, and um, we can now commence the first step. And as I said earlier, the reason why we did it, we created a character and changed the level to 49 was to unlock these five skills. We're just going to choose five random skills. Yeah, stand all right. Snap. Static. And yeah, that's good. Why not mana strike and well, that's a Nova. Now we're not going to touch on the passives, even though it says we've got 46 unspent points. That's not the problem. That's not the point of this. The point of this is entirely different. Now I'll show you in a sec. So we're back in the uh, Visual Studio window now, and this was level 49 character. The reason why we did this was to acquire the slot number ID, the unique identifier for the skills of that character. And the reason why we did this was you could technically copy your character with the furthest progress in the game, the one that's level 111, my point of view, and uh, just copy paste it over into the other data file. But you would need to change some things. And in order to change those things, you would need something we acquire here from the saved character tree, which would be this. These are the values, the slot number zero. 
And the next one, slot number one, has this code, etc. You need these data values in order to make the progression apply to your new character as well. Because if you just copy and paste the old character, you will get the Acolyte skills on it instead of the new one pertaining to the mage skill set. So now that we've done this, we need to enhance the values for the XP for the given slot number. Now I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste the one from my character that's progressed the furthest and changed these names here or numbers here outside the slot number pertaining to the old acolyte one and change them to something that's got to do with the mage instead. But if I was you, I would start this way. I would copy all these informations for each node. So slot number two, I'll copy this. Slot number one, I'll copy the one here and make it in an unordered fashion list. That's basically it because you'll be needing those identification numbers and plot them in to the new copy paste from your old character. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so this here is the character stream for my uh, character that's progressed the furthest. As you can see, I've got the slot numbers over here, quest steps, everything here is completed. I've unlocked basically everything and I've maxed out the skills as well. However, this is the name of my acolyte. And this here is the character slot number. So I've got an acolyte up top and I've got the uh, major, I believe, and Sentinel, Primalist, and the Rogue. So we need to be mindful of this too. We need to remember those numbers because when we copy paste this long string, we need to edit a few things. And I'll show you what things to edit and how to do it. It's basically character class. We need to change that. So it's not an acolyte or lich, but a mage, etc. But first off, let me copy paste this and place it into the other character data. One second. And I'm into the other sheet now. You see Raceland, which is my mage. It's 49 slot two. Character class. One, if I remember, yeah, if I recollect, that's good. One more vital thing to think about is not the item data, but the passive points because they've got to be changed as well. So under saved character tree here, you will have the node IDs, the node points, and the tree version. So tree ID version it says three here. Now in my main character, character save would be two or one if I reflect. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you change it back to three here, two here, and of course the character class as well, one. So I've copied the one from the acolyte, I'm just going to paste it in here. And I've got to have a long string now with the name of my old character. Just going to change that to Raceland. It's not on slot one, I know it's in slot two. And the character class is one because it's a mage. So we'll change that as well. And let's go search out slot number because those need to be changed as well. Got no points. Remember what I told you about the no points. No points here re refers to the passive points. And this was version three. So that's why we're changing it to version three. Now the slot numbers, if you did what I said earlier, you will have different values here. So slot number zero with this value or unique item identifier would be pertaining to the acolyte class. So you need to change this. And luckily I did grab notes so I can just copy paste and change them on the fly. So I'm doing that. And I'll be back in one second. There you go, I've changed 
all five stock numbers to the values pertaining to the mage class. Having done that, you can now save the new data file and it will be called beta underscore two if it's a character in slot two. If it was a character in slot four, this would be beta underscore four. Like that. And let's start up the game and verify that we have everything we need in this regard. One sec. And we're back into the game. Play. And as you can see now, Racelin, Mage, with Spellblade as a skill, is now level 111. Let's try and go in game and verify the settings that we did applied correctly to the character in game as well. So skills, you now have level 20 in all skills. Passive points, you now have all passive points allocated as well. Your character is ready to go. It will take the progression, including echoes, quests, and, and everything else you've done in the game, and you will apply it. So you've got a, a, a completely identical progression data set from your previous character, the one that you got the furthest with. As you can see, everything here is now available to stack into. And if you wish to max out these stat settings as well, you can do so by watching the um, earlier video I made on how to edit skill or mod the skill points, because you can apply all of these data and max out all of these settings as well. So that's basically it. You saved yourself loads of time. You have now got a mage that does it all. One thing I'd advise you to do is to change up the skills because these are the skills from the acolyte that did not change over. You need to do this manually. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do the glacier as well. Look at that. It's beautiful. You've now got a mage that does it all. However, some of the items from your old character will not be able to apply to this character as well because they are class specifics. You can change it as well as you can change whether or not fractured status applies to items, but that's a, a completely different topic. You need to do some coding there and you need to use assembler. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now, but if you do need some, uh, some armor and some clothes, just go here find this fella, you gamble away, because you still have the gold from your old character, you still have all the crafting materials. And what you basically need now is, um, let's just say this gown here, do a robe. All right, it looks lovely. Want to max out this, watch the other videos for that. I also need a helmet or gilded crown. And look at that, it's lovely. <clears throat> Um, probably some accessories too. Yeah, you're gonna need your time with an eye. So I'm gonna pick this one as well. Now, I'm not gonna be a, a big fuzz about this because you can obviously do this by watching the other videos and um, choose the item sets you want and gamble from plenty. But this is basically it. You've literally saved hours upon hours leveling up a new character, a new class, with all the skills unlocked, everything is jolly. You cheat at death. Have fun with that, enjoy yourself, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.